Hello YouTube! Today I have yet another creation to show you, which I call the Cluster Bomber. I mostly created this as a design exercise, with the goal being to maximize the ratio of bombs to other pieces. I reached 12 bombs in a machine that's only 38 blocks total, meaning this machine is 31.5% bombs. If I used BSG editing, I could have taken it down to 31 blocks by using only one balloon and one flying spiral, both in the center, with their buoyancy and lift increased beyond the normal limits. The unusual staggered layout of the pieces was achieved in normal build mode, using a method I explained in an earlier video. This machine is capable of beating all 20 current zones, but I'll only be taking it through a few zones in this demonstration. If you download this machine, I recommend that you drop the upper bombs first and let them roll off the bombs beneath them like I'm doing here, and I'll show you why after this zone. You'll also want to avoid using forward thrust while dropping a bomb that's in front of you so you don't hit your own bomb. Coasting forward is safe though. But probably the most important precaution is to be really high up when bombing the knights. They tend to fly straight up when bombed, and it's hard to get out of the way in time in a slow bomber like this. Now here's why I dropped the bombs in the order I did. If you drop the lower front and rear bombs first, then the upper ones, you run the risk of hitting the bottom bombs and blowing yourself up. Alternatively, you could drop the lowest four bombs first, but that raises your center of gravity. Another zone I'd like to show you is Zone 19. In most flying machines, you can hover over the axe with bombs on them and trigger the checkpoints. But the starting block that activates the checkpoints is high in this design, so you need to fly lower. You can bomb the axe to get rid of them, or just lead them into obstacles so they detonate themselves. Either way, the exploding axe can fly up and hit you, so use altitude and or speed to avoid them. Finally, I'd like to show you Zone 6, because my machine can lift and carry the iron ore, rather than just rolling it into place. It's also stable enough to fly the ore all the way up to the altitude at which the balloons freeze and pop. Note that as the machine swings, I try to keep the front flying spiral facing in the direction of the swing, and whenever the machine is facing up, I activate the front flying spiral. This gives additional lift, and keeps the swinging from getting too violent. I'll fast forward through the rest of the climb, since it does take a long time to reach maximum height. Alright, here we are. Well, that's the Cluster Bomber. The download link is in the description. Thanks for watching.